today. We're gonna go into Wagatha's Hive. Haven't been in here in a very long time. So I had to, um, the bucket feeder that I had in here was leaking pretty badly. So I had to take it out. But you can see I just stuck a bunch of jars up here because I didn't know what else to do because my bucket was leaking. Alright, so let's get these jars out of our way. I got a new bucket to put in here. All right, so last time I was in here, I added this super. You know, I checked it when I filled the bucket last time when I realized this bucket was leaking and they hadn't done anything with it. So if it's still not worked, then we're gonna pull it off. I don't have a queen excluder in here anymore. Now I do have shallows mixed with mediums in here so we could have a mess. Hopefully not, but we could. All right, that's heavy. They're doing some work to it. But you know, I don't see a whole lot going on. This is a medium frame here. So, and again, oh, they're drawing this out. That's good. They've made some progress on that frame. As long as they're being cordial and friendly. That's a heavy frame. Yeah, they've got it full and full on this side as well. Do you have a little bit of burr comb down here? That's to be expected because these frames are too short for this box. And you know, that's just a mess that we're just gonna have to deal with. I have another shorter box and we'll do some rearranging in the spring. For now, we're just gonna leave it though. I can clean everything up this spring. We'll get these bigger frames out of here oh yeah see we're getting a mess but it's nice to see that they've moved up here this was completely undrawn last time i was in this hive so that's good to see you know ideally i would get these shorter frames out of here so we didn't have all that burr comb but I put them in there because they were drawn and I thought it would encourage them to draw and it has it's worked but now we've kind of got a mess but that's okay we will clean it up this spring look at that <laughs> beautiful cat honey yeah solid honey front and back. Solid honey. Solid honey. A little bit of brood, but man, these things are so stuck. All right, we got some brood here, back filling. That looks good. Here's some capped brood and some pollen. They're back filling still. So I haven't seen our queen. As much honey is up here. She's probably in that bottom box. A little bit of old brood that's hatched out. Got some drone cone down at the bottom. It's a pretty frame. That was brood. They've completely backfilled it with pollen. All oh, this is pollen. And then this is cap tunny here. This was brood. Then we got some drone cone down here, which I'm not too worried about. 
And that is solid capped honey. There's a little bit of pollen down here. These are good looking frames. See, that is solid capped honey. It's beautiful. This is all full. They just haven't capped it yet. Beautiful. Alrighty. What a mess. I shouldn't have gone so long without getting in this hive. That's my mistake. That wasn't too terrible. Alright, now I'm going to put my top cover here. Just try to discourage any robbing because I gentle. So I suspect my queen is down here somewhere. I still got a drone in there. That is all bee bread. Pollen. A little bit of honey on the sides. Alright. No queen on that frame. Big old drone. Got some damaged frames in here that are going to need to come out sometime, but Alright, there's a little bit of cat brood left on this, but they've backfilled everything else with pollen. Same thing on this side. My gloves are really slick. They're covered with honey. So I'm going to have to be super careful. Alright, so on this we've got capped brood, capped honey open honey larva and I'm sure there's some eggs in there that we just can't see because it's so dark and on this side capped honey open honey bee bread larva capped brood and I see some eggs in there that's a nice frame oh. Queen. Here's a pretty frame of brood. This is a frame that I put in there when I stole a frame of brood. It was completely undrawn. They have drawn it and she has laid it. Let's see what we got on this side. Same thing on this side. Got a little bit of capped brood, a little bit of open brood, a little bit of capped honey. That looks pretty good. Still haven't seen my queen. Better behave than usual, anyways. Alright. A little bit of capped brood, a little bit of bee bread. And I don't see any eggs, but I do see some young larvae. Let's see what we got on this side. Alright, same thing on this side. Capped brood, open brood. Mm. Still no queen. It's a good frame of brood. And again, they're backfilling with food stores. There's a nice frame. No, that's just a little cup, and there's nothing in it, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's all bee bread. Where is my queen, y'all? We must have missed her on another frame. She's marked. I have a hard time believing that I'd miss her. There's a lot of drones in here for this late in the year. She's not here. I'll bet she's in that top box. She is not down here. Now, I'm hoping 
my queen is in here somewhere. I don't know. Let's get this back out of our way. I know I have a queen in here because we found eggs. I'm content with seeing signs of queens. I don't have to see a queen. All right. Let me get my pull and patty, which I foolishly threw down the bottom of this. Huh. Let's get this box on there now. Like I said, I absolutely hate moving boxes around because you kill bees. There's just no way around it. Anyways, I'm not going to stress over my queen. I know she's in there. I know she's okay. Because I saw eggs. We didn't see any emergency queen cells. We didn't see any swarm cells. We didn't see any supersedure cells. So she's okay. In my head. Anyways, she's okay. We're going to let things chill out a little bit before we get in Eleanor's. You know, not only do we have a lot of bees flying around right now, but Eleanor is a very large hive. And I don't need all of Lagatha's bees flying around, all of Eleanor's bees flying around. I just don't need that. So we are going to let Lagatha's hive just chill for a minute. And then we will worry about getting into Eleanor's here in a little bit. But let's feed them. I got a new bucket that's not going to leak, hopefully. There we go. And that's that. Well, we got some bees trapped in there, but... Sorry girls. Alright. So we got some honey down here. We got a lot of bees down here on the ground, but you know they're all gonna make their way back into the hive real soon. You can see there's a lot of pollen on them. They're getting food from somewhere. Alright. Well, we're done in land at this hive. We still got a ton of bees flying around. We'll give this about an hour to just chill. And then we'll try to get in Eleanor's hive later. We may not be able to get into Eleanor's hive today. We may have to wait till tomorrow. We're running out of daylight. But do what we can. All right. See ya. You see, we got a lot of activity here. There are a lot of bees in the grass, but they're cleaning up that honey. This is all the brace comb we took off. They're going to work on cleaning all that up, and they'll move all that honey back into the hive. Look at all that pollen. Where are all that pollen's coming from? Probably the neighbors. There's a moth. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. My bucket's leaking. Goodness gracious. do about that. I can't seem to get a bucket on this hive that doesn't leak. Maybe that's because it's mm -hmm. leaning. Hmm. Well, we gotta do something about this bucket, y'all. It's gotta be because it's at an angle. I mean... It's just steadily pouring, though.
so I've got to somehow level the whole box. Or just try to level the, the bucket. I don't know. this hive. It's got to be the angle. It's possibly slowing down. It's hard to say. I think it's slowing down. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to level up this hive if I'm going to be able to bucket feed it.